64 year old banking veteran Peter Sia may have many achievements to his name, but he firmly believes that failure is an important step in achieving success. What I want you to remember is that setbacks and failures are very important in character building. If you have never failed before, it's just like you have never been sick. The first time you get sick, you probably die. So if you If you have never failed, you never mature, you do not learn. And failures and setbacks are opportunities where you learn to do things better, where you toughen up. The DBS chairman was sharing his personal and professional experiences with a group of students and old boys of St. Joseph's Institution at the Fullerton SJI Leadership Lecture Series, now in its second year. The banking veteran of 34 years has worked in Citibank, OUB, and DBS. He said he learned the importance of organizational culture when he moved in 1977 from the forward thinking American bank Citibank to the family owned Asian bank OUB. Cultural and mindset change cannot be done overnight. Um, it cannot be done by force. When I joined the、uh, OUP, it was a very family type organization. I had come from Citibank, which was probably many, many years ahead in terms of technology,、uh, management style, and knowledge. And I said, overnight, why don't we just do things this way? Everybody turns around and says, but we have been doing this, it this way. For all these years, and we have done well. So, why are you asking us to change? So, it, it dawned upon me that if you want to change mindset, you want to change culture, you have to help be a role model, and it takes time. It took me more than 10 years to move the organization to. The type of culture and style that I wanted to accomplish. In terms of leadership style, Mr. Sia believes in being a well liked leader rather than a leader who is feared. I believe in management not by fear but by love, meaning that I would rather try to persuade and bring somebody over to see. My way of thinking and my ideas, rather than to use position and power to tell them, do this. That's a shortcut. I did start out that way. In my younger days,、uh, I, shortcuts, you know, you、uh, use authority, you use a position,、uh, but then you find that、uh, I was sharing with my children. You think you are very good by using、uh, authority and position, but you will find that you, when the crunch comes, you could be the best manager, but nobody will vote for you to be the boss because there's no love. Mr. Xia also advised young people not to be too impatient. Something like I, I want to share because I think most of the、uh, students here are very bright people. You know. People who are very intelligent tend to be very impatient. Why? Because you usually know the answer to the question that you are asking, or you think very fast, and so you you answer questions in thirty seconds. And therefore, when you when you deal with people, you expect them to be fast, to be quick, and that's something you have to learn to manage. I had a wake-up call one day when I was complaining to my friend. They said, "My driver, you know, he's so asking to turn, go to this, he goes there, and so on and so forth." So my friend told me, "He said, 'Hey Peter, if he is as smart as you, you will be driving, you will be sitting behind.' <laughs> so something for you to reflect over next time when you think somebody is stupid." Although he is of retirement age, he continues to contribute to the banking industry, both as DBS chairman and as a mentor to young leaders. I'm actually, I see myself as 
as somebody who's uh, always willing to to teach, to inculcate uh, uh, you know values and and to teach systems, to teach uh, uh, management. Uh, I see one of my duties as helping to groom the next generation of corporate leaders for Singapore in whatever I do.